Oil refining in Russia dropped to nearly yearly minimum due to drone attacks. Oil refining in Russia has dropped to nearly a yearly minimum. The cause of this has been drone strikes on oil refineries and their slow repair, Bloomberg reports. The source indicates that from April the 11th to the 17th, Russia processed 5.22 million barrels of oil per day. This is approximately 10,000 barrels per day or 0.2% lower than the average for the previous seven days. Bloomberg writes that Ukraine has targeted an important sector of Russia's economy and its government aims to restrict fuel supplies to the front line against the military. This will also reduce revenue to the Russian budget. Earlier this year, drones targeted key Russian refineries, causing their partial or complete shutdown, the material states. The source also notes that during the period from April the 11th to the 17th, most of the affected facilities were operating at a level close to the previous weekly average but still lower than the productivity before the attacks. The source indicates that the daily rates of crude oil processing at refineries affected by Ukrainian drone attacks from April the 1st to the 17th averaged 1.23 million barrels. This is approximately 280,000 barrels per day lower than the average from the period from January the 1st to the 24th. The Twapse plant is still not operational and other damaged refineries have not restored their productivity to pre-attack levels. Oil processing at the Norsi plant in Nizhny Novgorod is also below January levels. During April as a whole, Russian refinery runs have averaged about 5.23 million barrels a day near the lowest levels since last May, Bloomberg wrote. Over the past few months, several major refineries in various regions of Russia have been targeted by drone attacks. In most cases, significant equipment has been damaged, which is quite difficult to procure under sanctions. Repairing these plants is a lengthy process. However, this has sparked a negative reaction in the US. For instance, the head of the Pentagon, Lloyd Austin, believes that Ukrainian strikes on Russian refineries could have implications for the global energy situation. Mikhailo Podolyak, an advisor to the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, stated that Ukraine will continue to target Russian refineries for destruction. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un supervised salvo launches of the country's super-large multiple rocket launchers that simulated a nuclear counterattack against enemy targets. The report by North Korea's official Korean Central News Agency came a day after the South Korean and Japanese militaries detected the North firing what they suspected were multiple short-range ballistic missiles from a region near its capital, Pyongyang, toward its eastern seas. State media photos showed at least four rockets being fired from launch vehicles as Kim watched from an observation post. It said the rockets flew 352 kilometers before accurately hitting an island target and that the drill verified the reliability of the system of command, management, control and operation of the whole nuclear force. Kim said the exercise helped prepare North Korea's nuclear forces for their important mission of deterring a war and taking the initiative in a war. The Kim regime has tested a series of weapons in recent months, including long-range artillery that has the South Korean capital of Seoul within its range, a hypersonic glide vehicle, which in theory could carry a warhead past South Korean and U.S. air defenses, and an intercontinental ballistic missile that could reach the U.S. mainland. Since conducting its first nuclear test more than a decade ago, North Korea has advanced its weapons capabilities, with the ambition of miniaturizing a warhead so that it can fit on a long-range missile.
Thank <laughs> you.